Polly are cutting up to 50 pounds on Florida Walt Disney World holidays. Get away! In just a moment here on 4, Paul McCartney in an electrifying concert performed acoustically, an unplugged special. First on 4, though, the new summary with Sue Carpenter. The time is 7 o'clock. Good evening. President Gorbachev has told an emergency meeting of the Supreme Soviet that the breakaway republics should have the right to choose independence. And within the past hour, President Bush has said that the United States is very, very close to recognizing the independence of the Baltic republics. The emergency meeting of the Supreme Soviet had been called by the leaders of the coup a week ago to rubber stamp their grab for power. Now the deputies arriving in the Kremlin walked past photographs witnessing the defiance of the Democrats who triumphed. The man who used to chair the Supreme Soviet, Anatoly Lukyanov, announced his resignation overnight following accusations that he'd masterminded the coup. As nothing's been proven yet, he was free to attend the session and he defended himself vigorously. The truth is that I was not a conspirator and I could not be one, because I arrived here when the conspiracy was over. The most important thing is that I was not its originator, because I cannot accept a plot of any kind. As a communist, I cannot accept it. One of the first decisions taken inside the hall was to convene a full Congress of People's Deputies next Monday. After a week in which the entire political shape of the Soviet Union has changed, a meeting of the supreme decision-making body was deemed necessary. Deputies today were highly critical of each other's behavior during the coup, some demanding that everyone should explain how they'd acted during the three days to the voters. After being kept waiting for two hours, Mikhail Gorbachev was finally allowed to take the stand. From his downbeat, humble tone, it was immediately clear that this was a chastened man. He said he blamed himself for the coup because he'd promoted most of its leaders and he hadn't carried through the reforms he'd promised. They say that I have returned to a different country. I agree with them. I can also say that the man who is returning to this new country from the Crimea is a different man. One who is looking at the past, the present and the future with different eyes. And for the first time Mikhail Gorbachev conceded that republics opposed to the Union Treaty would have to be given their independence. We should determine our position about those republics which are not going to sign this treaty. They must be granted the right to make their own choice. After the Union Treaty is signed, it will be necessary to start negotiations with those who wish to secede. In contrast, Boris Yeltsin was at an orthodox ceremony, strengthening his image as the Russian nationalist father figure. Today, Mikhail Gorbachev pinned great hopes on a rewritten Union Treaty, giving him and the USSR a new lease of life. But with the likes of the Ukraine and Russia declaring for independence in the past few days, it's hard to see how the Union can continue at all. Gabi Rado, ITN, Moscow. Yugoslav federal troops and Serbian guerrillas are reported to have launched a major assault on the eastern Croatian town of Vukovar. A Belgrade news agency reported dozens of dead in the fighting. Here, police say the number of arrests and crimes at the Notting Hill Carnival in West London is down dramatically on last year. But a man aged 38 has died in hospital after being stabbed near the carnival route late last night. That's the end of this summary. The next ITN Bulletin is on ITV at 10.15. Goodbye. Now look at the weather, and tonight it will stay mostly cloudy over much of Northern Ireland and Scotland, with plenty of patchy drizzle in coastal districts. The rest of Britain will have clear skies, but because of the lack of wind, there could be mist or fog in low-lying areas around dawn. 
Tomorrow, light showers in the far north, drizzle in eastern Scotland and parts of eastern England, but most of the country will have a fine sunny day and it should be warmer than today. And that's the weather from four. Maybe you're out your depth there. Eh? Me? Listen, it's going to be violent. Trying times in Brookside. For tonight. <laughs> Trying for triplets, my two dads. Oh, look at that, Joe. It's got your IQ. For tonight. The wings of war, modern weaponry and tribal traditions clash as the Inuit Indians try to rid their homelands of an unwanted presence. For tonight. Now on four, Macca has the music, but not the power, in an unplugged special. A cool taste of paradise. Real cream ice cream. With tender, luscious coconut. A thousand flakes, snow white, snow cool. In a real milk chocolate shell. Bounty ice cream. Ice cream paradise. <laughs> quite hits the mark. Eleven o'clock. You're up early. Morning, Lisa. See you later. Cornflakes. Now there's a blast from the past. Kellogg's cornflakes. Delicious flakes of corn drenched in ice-cold milk. Morning, Steve. Morning. Typical. Lisa's out of cornflakes. <laughs> Here, have some fun. Kellogg's cornflakes. Have you forgotten how good they taste? At British Gas, we've made a commitment to our customers. If you take out a service care contract, we will do our utmost to repair your central heating system the same day. All you have to do is ring before 7.30 p.m. Putting the customer first is something British Gas aims to do worldwide. This is Canada. Last winter, British Gas bought a Canadian gas company. We now reach a million new customers, no matter how grisly the conditions. The world is turning to British Gas. Look how much my house insurance has gone up. Struth! That's over a third more than I'm paying. You want to change companies? Mm, terrible asshole. The way insurance rates are going, it might pay you to pick up the phone to Direct Line. Direct Line Insurance? With some insurance companies charging over a third more than you'll pay by dealing direct. Just answer a few simple questions and... You're covered. Thank you. Here. You're with them already, aren't you? I thought it had a familiar ring. For cheaper home insurance with a human voice, call Direct Line on 061 839 8877. Well, couldn't let anything come between me and my calibre. <laughs> 